Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Louise, so I know it's been a while and I actually haven't introduced myself properly. So I'm Louise, I'm a Filipino makeup artist living in the UK, in Manchester. So, ayon, it's been a while since I uploaded my last video because there's been a lot going on. First is I'm four and a half months pregnant and clueless and scared and excited everything at once yeah i figured i'm bored at home we can't really go out because covid and pregnant it's not the best combination so i'm just staying at home and i'm filming <laughs> so i've already applied my moisturizer i'm just going to spray some argan plus five oil to freshen up my skin and then I'm just going to dry that a bit. Yeah. Now I'm gonna apply Revolution Pro. Oh my coconut. Coconut. Mm -mm, oh my coconut. And then I'm gonna apply it. I use this on my lips because it's so dry on my lips. Ko. I think being pregnant. Ang prone ko to dehydration, kaya laging dry ang aking bibig. So, I'm gonna apply this on my lips. Hydrating and it locks the moisture there on the lip. So, hindi na ako naglalagay ng lip, uh, lip tint, kineme, lipstick for every day going to work. Hi. Since minsan lang tayo mag makeup, ito todo na natin to. I'm gonna use this Pang Malakasang Huda Beauty Eye Wick. Before I apply that, maglalagay lang muna ako ng highlighter, which is tong. Lalagay ko siya sa high points of my face before I apply my foundation so that it gives you the glow from within effect. So, yan siya. And then I'm just using my beauty blender to apply it. Yan. So, mukha akong tin man. Ganda. <laughs> Halo ko na yung aking foundation. So, one and a half pump to begin with because this foundation is super um, high coverage. I use this mainly on models at work. But when we do the photo shoot, super ilaw, pak pak pak. It covers everything. Just make sure that you get the right shade. I have this weird pimple on my neck. Since nabuntis ako, I think yan lang yung pimple na tumubo. So, hindi na ako mag-iinarte. So, I only used one and a half pump. Tapos, yan na siya. So, super full coverage. I just applied um, I just blended it with my beauty blender. Gusto ko siya mag kumala. Pag brush kasi, mas kuha mo yung product. Kapag beauty blender, mas magiging see-through. Hindi siya magiging ganun ka high coverage. So now, I'm gonna go to my concealer. So, I'm applying it on the high points of my face and meron akong bagong party trick which is to, to give my face a bit of a lift. I'm very very light and also there. I'm going to use the other end of the beauty blender and then I'm just lightly patting my concealer. And then blend yung panose line. Yan. Oh, diba? My instant ganun. And I'm gonna blend it all together. It will all make sense. I'm just going to contour a bit. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha for contouring. So, and here. Yeah. And then. The jawline, para 
So ngayon, I'm going to get my brush from Real Techniques, number 206. So, i-blend ko lang siya. Just gonna blend this out. Blending is key. Because if you don't blend in sa hairline, obvious na obvious. Hindi mo pinaghirapan, pero binlend mo siya ng mga 5 hours. Here. I blend mo close to your sentido. Blend more on the side actually. Di ba? Ang tangos ng nose. And then, gano'n lang. Pat mo lang para hindi super harsh yung light. Pat, gano'n. Do I want to go lighter under my eye? I think, magdaragdag pa ako ng concealer but lighter. Ito, 3 to 7. Dot lang. Very, very light lang. Be careful lang when you blend it. Do Make sure you don't go over the ano, your nose contour. So, kamusta naman ang lockdown life nyo? Technically, we're on lockdown, pero iba yung rules sa UK. Sana, okay lang kayong lahat. So, I think happy na ako how light it is. I'm going to bake a bit, pero hindi super full bake. Brush it all out or blend it all together. I'm going to apply my blush and it's a liquid blush from Daniel Sand. A cream cheek 128 brush. So ito yung blush. This is the blush. The face. Yeah. I'm applying the blush upwards so Siyempre, gusto natin yung palift. And then, so go very light sa nose. So, even though nag-bake ako dyan, what's good about that, um, this watercolor liquid blush is hindi siya nag-cake on top of powder. It really blends well. At saka hindi siya nag papa -che -che. I'm going to apply my um, bronzer. So again, this brand is I'm gonna use the same brush. Uh, this um, bronzer is cheap but efficient. I think uh, drugstore makeup should be drugstore brand should be the UK. I'm going to apply my. Highlighter. I like wetting my brush for highlighter for intensity. Intensity ng color. Pagina apply mo siya. Diba? Yeah. Tapos, and then I'm gonna apply it on my nose line. Mmm. Lit ng nose. And then now I'm gonna apply my um, airbrush flawless finish under my eye. My Kitco, my Ultra Multi 1.7 brush. So as a base, I'm using the P. Louise Base Pro. So why do we use eye primer? So that the pigments last longer and para mas yung color payoff mas pack. I'm all about recently I'm all about the lift. Gusto ko na yung lifted effect, especially with my eyes na medyo droopy. 
diba? Lift agad siya. Now, I wait. I used my Kitco Fluff and Buff 1.8 brush. So, I'm not sure kung saan siya nakat because my video just got cut and I haven't seen the preview of it. Nagpalit lang ako ng battery. But I applied, I applied this shade from the Pat McGrath. Shimmery siya. Bakit yung yellowish pag malapit na to? This one. Here on the inner corner. And then I went back to the Pat McGrath Pillow Talk palette and used um, yeah, this one to connect everything. Ito. Sorry, kung maingay si Rolo. Now, I'm gonna use my eyeliner. Reddish siya. This one. My detailing smudge brush from a 1.13 from my Kit Go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna apply black liner. We'll see later. But if I'm going to, out, outside lang. Yan. Napapanga nga ako for the lift. Hmm. And then to reinforce the twin. I think I'm going to apply this shade from Charlotte or maybe pink. Siguro pink para kakaiba. Morphe M50. Ayan. Hmm. Girl. Ay, hello. Hello. And then we're gonna connect it underneath. I'm gonna use this pink as well to connect underneath. Sorry if you can hear my dog. Not right here. Connect lang. Diba? It comes together. Like, kasi dito, parang iwan yung under eye. Here, parang, yes, we're one eye. Ganun. Mm. So inner corner, I'm going to apply this. <laughs> Rolo! Yeah. Mm. And then to clean, to sharpen that wing. Para palaban ang palaban yung wing natin. A bit of the concealer, not the brighter one. Pero itong very light lang. What's this brush? This is from MAC. I really don't know na the number. 242S. You don't want the concealer to be too much. Kasi sobrang obvious. Lagi lang tayong subtle. Yan! Oh. Lash curler from Tweezer Man. So, if there are mm, contacts, I'm gonna put on this mascara. This is the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And then I'm gonna apply these lashes. I'm Rola Marie. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh. Ay, wait. Now I'm gonna use the Lime Crime Bushy Brow in. So I have microblade bladed brows. And medyo matagal na. Siguro three years na to. Pagagawa ko siya ulit. I think I'll just let it fade. And I don't know anyone who does microblading here. Shnong quality. Out. 
I think I'm gonna use this lip liner blush from Barry M. So I won't overline my lips because naman, hello, 5 kg na siya. Yan. And then, what lipstick should I use? Stana Lip Paint and Cuff. I'm gonna apply a button in the middle. And then this Kiko Milano High 3D Hydro Lip Glow. I don't know, actually. Mm, I know. So there we have it. I'm going to spray the Argan Oil, 5 Oil, yung kanina. So, yeah, here's my final look, and I hope you like it. And hopefully, makagawa pa ako ng more videos. And I think I'm going to speak in Tagalog because I've been apprehensive in doing ano, videos like this where I'm talking because I don't want to be trying hard. I speak in English um, every day at work, at home because I'm asawa, ko, hello. Pagising mo pa lang English na comfortable. I think I'm happy showing a bit of my kabaklaan. So I'm going to stick to this and I'm glad I did this today. So hopefully, I'll do another one soon and let me know what topics you would like me to talk about. So today, I talked about the changes and pregnancy, but not thoroughly. But you can ask me any question and about work, about life in the UK, about pregnancy, anything and everything. I think this is going to be easier compared to when I do my makeup and then do voiceovers because I'm doing editing. So I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, see you next time. Bye!